Lead is a toxic metal and the dangers of exposure have been known for years. Despite this knowledge, some people are still being exposed to unsafe levels of lead in their homes, schools, and in the workplace. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health reports it does not matter if a person breathes in, swallows, or absorbs lead particles. The health effects are the same. However, the body absorbs higher levels of lead when it is breathed in. Lead also typically affects children more than it does adults. Lead poisoning can happen if a person is exposed to very high levels of lead over a short period of time, reports NIOSH. When this happens, a person may feel abdominal pain, constipated, tired, headachy, irritable, have loss of appetite or memory loss, have pain or tingling in the hands and or feet, or feel weak. The agency goes on to share that because these symptoms may occur slowly or may be caused by other things, lead poisoning can be easily overlooked. Exposure to high levels of lead may also cause anemia and kidney and brain damage. Very high lead exposure can cause death. NIOSH states that a person who is exposed to lead over a prolonged period of time may feel abdominal pain, constipated, depressed, distracted, forgetful, irritable, and nauseous or sick. People with prolonged exposure to lead may also be at risk for high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, and reduced fertility according to the agency. Lead is also considered to be a likely human carcinogen. These are just a few of the many things to know about health problems from lead exposure shared by NIOSH. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.